Logan Gilbert is already one of the best pitchers in the Mariners rotation, and he just added another weapon to his arsenal. This is a big deal for Logan Gilbert, and we're going to talk about why in this video, exactly what this pitch is going to do for him. But first, let's take a look at this splitter that Logan Gilbert is now throwing. The break on this pitch is insane, starting in the zone and falling out of the zone into the right-handed batter's box. Think about that to a lefty on a two-strike count. That's going to be a great put-away pitch for him, and that is going to be a big deal for him for a couple of different reasons. First, we're going to look at Logan's baseball savant page. Now, there's not a whole lot here to be excited about in terms of percentile rankings, but his fastball velocity and his walk percentage is good, and his extension, of course, is one of the best, if not the best, in the league. You can see that Logan relies on lower spin rates. His curve spin and his fastball spin are both lower than you would expect, meaning the ball is going to drop more than you would think because gravity is going to take effect on that ball with lower spin rate. The reason why some pitchers kind of seem like they have a rise ball is because they have a higher spin rate. The higher the spin rate, the less the ball is going to drop due to friction, and there's just a lot of scientific stuff going on there but logan with his lower fastball spin and even lower curveball spin his pitches drop further than most logan already throws five pitches he has a four seam fastball a slider a curveball a changeup, and a sinker the sinker he only threw 41 times in 2022 of course his fastball is what he relies on the most at 1626 pitches thrown overall logan gilbert is primarily fastball slider accounting for about 80 percent of what he throws he only threw two pitches versus lefties more than he did versus righties. And in 2022, that was his fastball and his changeup. His fastball, I mean, it's negligible. There's not much of a difference here. 20 more fastballs to lefties than they were against righties, but it's his changeup, a pitch that he relies on heavily to get lefties out. Now, there's a lot of numbers on the screen here, so I don't want to overload you with a bunch of different statistics. But as you can see here, his whiff percentage on his changeup is higher than any of his other pitches. He threw 241 changeups, and 219 of those were to left handed batters. Needless to say, here that Logan Gilbert has become a lefty neutralizer. You can see he faced 348 lefties in 2022. He held them to a 201 average, struck out 94 of them, and easily had better numbers versus lefties than he did righties. He only gave up five home runs to lefties and 14 to righties in just about 70 or so batters face left. His average versus righties was 276, whereas versus lefties, 201. So by doing this, Logan Gilbert is making himself even better versus lefties. Let's look at his changeup and then compare that to what this new splitter looks like. You can see the movement on both pitches moving relatively similarly. However, the splitter drops a lot more. Whereas the changeup seems to kind of shoot off to the right, you can see with the splitter, it's going to drop off as well while doing that. So while Logan Gilbert already has a great changeup, by being able to add a little bit of vertical drop to it, this pitch could be elite. The changeup is the pitch that Logan had the lowest batting average against, the highest whiff percentage, and the second highest K percentage in his entire arsenal. It also got hit the weakest of all the pitches that he threw in 2022. Needless to say, the changeup has actually been Logan's best pitch, especially versus lefties. His active spin on his changeup was 99 in 2022 and 98% in 2021. So yeah, it's easy to say that he is getting the most out of that pitch. And you can see looking at his baseball savant page, you can see where he was throwing that changeup. Hopefully, and ideally, down and away from left-handed batters. So looking at his movement on his pitches, for his changeup specifically, we're going to be focusing a lot on the changeup because the splitter is a lot like the changeup in terms of its movement. His changeup had 28.2 inches of drop from the moment he released the ball to where it ended up, and it had 15.3 inches of movement across the plate horizontally. That is a ton of movement. As you can see, in terms of horizontal movement, this pitch had the most movement that he had of all of his pitches. Of course, you see a lot of vertical movement in terms of curveballs and sliders, like a 12-6 curveball. Think about where you release it and where it ends up. It's going to end up nearly in the dirt. So now let's take a look at the splitter. It's vertical and horizontal movement. Remember, the changeup was 28.3 vertical and 15.3 horizontal. So looking at the pitch here, obviously he's in Florida here. He had a negative 4-inch vertical movement and a 14.5-inch horizontal movement. 14.5, very similar to that changeup. And this negative 4 is inverted vertical movement, so it's a little bit different. But needless to say, the horizontal movement is what we're really looking at here. We can see when Logan releases the ball, how much tail it has to the right-handed batter's box. So if you're a lefty standing on this side of the plate, of course, trying to hit this pitch, you're going to try to reach out and hit that pitch starting in the strike zone and then have it tail off into the right-handed batter's box. A right-handed hitter is going to see this ball go right back into their back foot and might swing at it while it's in the strike zone and then have it hit them in the back foot, which is always fun. I know I threw a lot at you there, but I'll just leave you with this. 
In terms of similar pitchers to Logan Gilbert based on velocity and movement, Brandon Woodruff, Justin Verlander, Shane Baz, Jackson, and Tyler McGill. Let's just look at the first two here, Justin Verlander and Brandon Woodruff. Both of those guys are perennial Cy Young Award contenders. And for Logan, where he was throwing most of his pitches, you can see he was missing the bottom half of the strike zone. He was missing these bottom two corners. And the splitter, I feel like, is going to be a great pitch for him to maximize his ability to get pitches into this area or this area, depending on the batter. Logan Gilbert just developed a brand new weapon to use against all of baseball. I'm not saying that he's going to be the Cy Young, but I'm saying there's a good chance if logan gilbert can get even better in 2023 then i think this team has a real 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 shot to be perennial contenders for the world series i know it's a big ask and you may be asking yourself what about all the other guys they add this offseason we have a video on that on the screen now i appreciate you guys watching this one and go mariners